G'day guys, how you going? I'm Isky and welcome to my YouTube video. I've got to show you what I scored last night. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. In fact, I'm getting major deja vu. I've actually just made a video where I found a receiver at the dump and I turned it on and it worked. That receiver, by the way, was a Yamaha A760. That's what I, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And it was the very first receiver that I've ever found that had Dolby Atmos on it. And it worked. And that's what I've been using for the last month in my home cinema. It's been great. Although I haven't hooked up the, uh, the Atmos part, okay? I'm waiting until I can, you know, get a better receiver yes. that has more channels and I can, you know, experience it yes. in all its glory type of thing. Now, here we go. This is my very first, well, no, sorry, I did find a Denon receiver last year. I found a Denon receiver last year um, and it didn't turn on. So, yeah, I don't know if this is turning on. Um, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take it down into my home cinema, plug it in, see if it powers up. And then we'll see if we can, you know, get a picture and get um, get some sound happening. How cool would that be? Because what I will do then is actually swap that Yamaha that I've just hooked up that I found in my last video. And um, I will actually put this in its stead. Because I've looked at the specs on this and it's much better. I think the Yamaha that I'm using at the moment is 90 watts per channel. This is 150 watts per channel. And it also has two outputs HDMI outputs in the back, which is something that I've always wanted. I've actually wanted that for quite a while. So I found one or two receivers in the past, but none of them I could get going. But um, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm just hoping this will work. And the reason why I'm, I've, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I've got a good feeling about this because whoever's thrown this top one out has also thrown this bottom one out. This is um, like, I'm pretty sure this is more of a budget friendly version um, it's also a Denon in fact see how there's a knob missing what I was hoping is I can pull this off there we go and uh, stick it up here <laughs> how cool would that be if that actually come on it's got to fit it has to fit right there we go beautiful <laughs> it's the first problem solved so now yeah so I'm thinking that uh, I've kind of got this in my head that when people throw out multiple items, um, I know it's not exactly the same, it's not the same model, etc. But um, I, it just feels like they're cleaning out, if you know what I'm saying. So they've had a couple of you know previous older models and they're just getting rid of them. So I'm hoping that um, this top one works. So let's take it downstairs and, and plug it in. Um, the only damage that have, that happened is, this is a wireless as well, so uh, connects to Wi-Fi I should say, so this aerial is fine, but there's an aerial at the back I noticed has snapped. Um, I'm assuming, I'm hoping that they're basically the same as your router aerials, because I've got heaps of those. But yeah, apart from that, I got this chair. It's a recliner, which is actually giving me major deja vu now because I'm pretty sure in that Yamaha video I had a couple of recliners that I had also found. Now, this recliner here, I actually want the actuator. So this is a fully automatic electric recliner. Um, this is your motor down here, and this is your actuator. It's all connected. I coll I'm collecting these at the moment. Um, I've got a couple of projects that I want to do in my home cinema using them. I think they'll come in handy for things like masking, automatic masking, if I decide to do something like that, which I don't think I will. But um, other things like I've got all these red leather reclining seats, uh, manual. I could actually kind of convert them to automatic if I wanted to. But for this, you know, at the moment, the very first project, what I want it for is... Um, I've got a I've got a screen. It's a 180 inch 16.9 acoustically transparent screen. It's not finished. It doesn't have the fabric, and the frame's not completely finished. But um, the deal is uh, to get that out of the way to get to my speakers behind. What I do is I basically bend down, lift it from the base, and hook it to the ceiling. I lift it all the way up to the ceiling, and it hooks up there. It's great. It stays out of the way. Now what I'm thinking about doing is actually making that a um, an automatic. You know, so all I need to do is get a couple of these actuators, put them on either side of the screen, hit a button, and it will rise automatically. 
and come down automatically and it will be nice and quiet and very fast I've seen other people do it on YouTube but they use lineal actuators and they are very noisy and incredibly slow so hopefully this is going to work we'll be making videos of that by the way so if you're interested please subscribe and uh, check that out okay so let's take this down to the cinema set it up see what we got you right there Zach you right there buddy all right <laughs> see ya <laughs> all right well I've done it again uh, guys I actually that last scene that you just saw me where I was showing you that Denon receiver well <laughs> that was about four to six weeks ago can't exactly remember and uh, guess what I actually brought it down and I didn't record me setting it up to test it out um, but yeah but guess what guess what have a look I'd like to introduce you guys to the latest member of my family Denon Atmos I have Atmos in my cinema I mean I had a Yamaha Atmos receiver in here before this one remember I found that one and uh, listen I've just been using the Denon um, I, I changed it over because it has two outputs that's one of the main reasons but it's also very easy to use as well um, have a look over here have a look over there that signal that's sending that to um, the TV behind my screen that is this receiver and it worked from the get-go there wasn't a single issue with this receiver I'm really happy and um, yeah it sounds amazing as well uh, what I had to do is I had to um, I didn't have a remote control with this I didn't find a remote control with this so I end up, I did have a Denon remote that I could navigate enough with that to get me on the network that was about it um, and once I was on the network with this I just downloaded the Denon app for my mobile phone just been using it with my mobile phone it's, it's simple so yeah and guess what in that video that I made with the Yamaha receiver remember that one well I didn't hook it up to Atmos then remember I said I didn't want to hook it up to Atmos uh, basically I didn't want to remove the side speakers so I could hear Atmos because just, just I wanted to hear it in all its glory I wanted to hear it with the at the side speakers as well as the Atmos speakers every speaker but uh, what I didn't realize what I did not realize was um, that uh, how can I say that I didn't realize that when you went into this um, the menu system for the actual Denon um, receiver you could actually choose and assign speakers I didn't realize I could get rid of my rear speakers which you can hardly hear anyway when you're at the front so what I did was I got rid of those rear speakers and I kept my side speakers and I've been using the Atmos speakers and yes I have Atmos speakers up there I installed kind of installed Atmos speakers and you're gonna be pretty impressed I'll show you in a second but um, I'll tell you now, Atmos. Well, like I said in this other video, I said everyone's just talking about Atmos, Atmos, Atmos. That's all people talk about on these Facebook groups. And it's freaking annoying. <laughs> but guess what? I understand why. Atmos sounds amazing. Atmos is incredible. Oh, it's, it totally enhances the whole experience. You know, I'm, I've played the movie Ready Player One like a hundred times just so I can watch that um, that that chase scene you know there's this uh, a race a race scene they do this race in the beginning it's 13 minutes into the movie they play this race and it's insane it actually scares me I'm watching it and and all of a sudden I'm hearing King Kong over there and King Kong over there and he's gee, gee, gee. and I'm like oh shit I have to turn it down because it scares the hell out of me sometimes <laughs> I'm getting used to it but yeah it's it's amazing so I'm sorry it, it's justifiable you know talk about it on Facebook all you want guys because it's pretty good all right you want to see my awesome speaker setup I know you do check this out look at that how good is that I've just got them strung up there I have them strung up over this bit of framing pine so this bit of framing pine some of you guys might be wondering what the hell is all this framing pine that you've got you know spanning your cinema basically guys that is for you the new subscribers I'm doing a starfield ceiling magnetically 
you know, magnetic star field ceiling. So this is my ceiling. It's actually up there magnetically. It's magnetically placed. It's not gonna fall down, but just in case it does, this is my safety because I don't have safety lines holding it up yet. So that's just until, you know, I get my safety lines and then I'll remove them. But I'm glad I've got them there because I've attached my Atmos speakers. These are the Jensen Atmos speakers that I found at the dump. Remember those? I found a bunch of Jensen speakers at the dump and it's brilliant. They, they work great. They sound amazing for these six, six and a half inch speakers. They sound really, really cool. And all I've done, you can see here, I've actually just basically what I did was I got, I got some wire and I just made these dodgy hooks with some pliers and I got some pink builder's string, just string. And um, I just kind of attached them to the speakers. And then I just climbed, I <laughs> just put a step ladder there, climbed up and you know, I basically just attached them. I just hooked them up. And the cool part is once I did that, I could actually angle them. I was angling them and um, I can get this angle on them and man, it sounds amazing. Seriously, it sounds really cool. And uh, that's it. And the cool part, and the other cool part is the wire. I just wound that along there. Obviously, this is just temporary, right? This is really a temporary type of thing. I just wanted to hear Atmos. Not just that, not just that, but this is a really cool way of doing it. I reckon a lot more people should be doing this if you've got tray lighting, that is, because all these, all these, um, uh, bits of framing pine, they're just sitting up on the tray lighting of the soffit, right? They're just kind of spanned along there. So that's, <laughs> that's how they're placed. So basically, basically what I can do now, and this is why I think it should be done more, more often with other people, what you can do is I can actually get that bit of framing pine and I can move it that way or I can move it that way with the speaker itself. I can move the speaker that way or I can move the speaker that way and I can totally I can totally tweak where I might want to put my speaker before I cut holes in my ceiling okay so yeah and by the way these speakers eventually when they're in my ceiling they're not going to be attached to the actual um, polycarbonate sheeting uh, the starfield ceiling because the magnets aren't going to be able to hold them they will be you can see Beyond there, there's uh, rafters and things from my deck above. So they will actually be held in between there. And then I will cut a hole through the polycarbonate sheeting so that the speakers can be angled past that hole to my main listening position. So guys, it's brilliant. It is so good. I'm stoked. I'm really happy with how this sounds. And the thing is now, the only advice I can give, and I'm not really ready to give any advice yet because I haven't done it correctly I've just put them up there very dodgily but one thing that doing this the whole kind of Atmos speaker experience so far has shown or taught me is don't overthink it don't overthink it every everyone on the Facebook forums on AVS asking all these questions they seem to be overthink and I get it I totally get it it's your cinema you just want your speakers placed perfectly but what I've discovered is you know you could put your speaker here or you could put it here or you could put it here tweak it around this kind of area you're not going to know the difference you won't hear any difference at all and i've done that i've had mates over here and they're just like you can't hear the difference you can't well, i moved it over you can't hear the difference so basically what it came down for me was just putting it in the kind of see i've got a limited kind of spaces i've got these spaces where i can put those speakers I am going to have to cut some of those magnetic steel panels out of the way eventually for the speakers. But um, yeah, so for me, it came down to where it was just more convenient for my speakers to go rather than, you know, where theoretically they, sh you know, mathematically they should be because it doesn't make any difference. Um, I mean, like I did research it a hell of a lot. And um, I mean, I think I was watching this one guy uh, on YouTube. I can't remember his name. I think his channel was Home Theatre Guru, Gurus, I think. And he was really good. He was excellent. And um, basically, when I was watching what he was saying, explaining where to put Atmos speakers, it made sense and it was common sense and it made it was what I was going to do anyway. So he was just 
almost reinforcing. And one of the things that he said that I was definitely always going to do was to angle the speakers to the main listening position, the MLP. And you can see here, I, I can actually angle it with these bits of string as well. It's a really cool thing. But that's probably the main thing that you want to do when you're kind of um, positioning these. Not to mention, I was basically just making sure uh, that the distance between that side speaker, that Atmos speaker, was, it worked out really well because that distance between these two speakers here is the same distance as that speaker to that speaker and that speaker down to that speaker down there. So yeah, it's just common sense stuff, you know, and I'll tell you what, it sounds amazing. I've had a lot of people in here that's just come over to watch movies and they've been blown away, you know, so yeah, very, very happy with that. Now, the only thing that I had problems with was trying to get Atmos to come up on my Denon receiver because I always thought that you'd have Atmos written on the receiver itself, but I wasn't getting Atmos when I was playing a Blu-ray through my HTPC, my computer, by the way. Um, and I would put another Blu-ray player, a crappy one, and it wouldn't play it. And so I've actually got a Blu-ray player. Listen, I've just made these video. I've just made a video of me choosing a few Blu-ray players and you're laughing because I said a few. Well, if you have a look over here on my in my corset shop over there on the table, I have probably 12 to two dozen Blu-ray players. And um, yeah, I've been collecting them over the last two to three years. And there's a lot of gaming consoles and there's, there's 3D Blu-ray players. At the end of the video that I've just made, I'll release it down the line. Um, at the end of that video, I actually fix and repair one of the Blu-ray players and I uh, do a quick five minute time lapse of me fixing it. But uh, just for now, I'll show you what I've got happening. So this here is, what's this movie called? I forget, it's like the fifth element guys that made this. Um, if we have a look over here, down here, that's my Blu-ray, that's what I'm playing it through. That is an Xbox One. And actually there's two Xbox Ones there. <laughs> and um, yeah, I found them at the dump with a bunch of other ones. I just give them to friends. I give them to friends now. I just give I give all my friends Xbox Ones and PS4s and so forth. They love me. So that's what I was. That's what I originally started playing it, and I couldn't get Atmos to come up. And then what I discovered is I actually jumped on to the App Store and I downloaded the Atmos app, as well as the not Atmos app, sorry, the DTS X app, as well as the Dolby app. And then all of a sudden, I was getting Atmos. It was coming up here and it was sounding amazing. Oh man. In fact, let's do an experiment. Let's just play this. So I've got my Xbox control. Let me just hit that. I'm about to hit play. One, two, three. All right, so that's playing. If we have a look over here, there you go. It changes to Atmos. How good is that? So I've got real Atmos and it sounds amazing. DTSX sounds just as good, if not better. And I'm stoked, I'm really, really happy. So there you go, saved another one. This should be destroyed by now, well and truly. And I'm using it, so we recycled it. It didn't cost me anything, it's free. I think so far this entire cinema has cost me 50 bucks. That's everything. Um, I mean, yeah, I paid for, my projector this guy sold me a projector for 50 bucks that cost him four thousand dollars he said it didn't work and it worked he didn't know what he was doing and yeah that's what i've been using but it i could effectively say this cinema hasn't cost me anything because i've also found projectors at the dump and fixed them and they look amazing as well so yeah pretty cool eh? it's um yeah we've saved another one and i have my other yamaha that this replaced that's going upstairs on my deck for my, you know, my area out there. Uh, I'm going to be putting Atmos speakers in my halo lights that I've made. And uh, yeah, it should be really cool as well. But guys, I'm going to, you know, wind this up. I'd like to say thanks for watching. I hope you like this. I hope you like this. It's incredible what people throw out at the dump. I just can't understand it. I mean, why wouldn't you sell it? It's, it's nuts or give it away. You could just put it on Facebook Marketplace and say free and someone would come around within an hour and pick it up. Anyway, I don't care. <laughs> I'll have it. And uh, okay, that's it. I'm 
calling it this video is over i'd like to say thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next one